Hello guys, long time no see, um, fortunately I am back and uh, it's been quite tough weeks, so um, nevertheless uh, I want to start with this quick tutorial on lightweight uh, stylized sky uh, that I made uh, just uh, messing around with some uh, material uh, logic. So, as you can see from this graph, that's uh, everything that you need to achieve the sky that you saw in the beginning of the video. So, uh, just quick uh, review. So, uh, the basic idea is to mix up two uh, noise uh, nodes. Uh, in case uh, you don't want to have the noise uh, node here, you can use some tiling noise textures, but uh, I recommend using uh, noise nodes just to uh, look for um, the proper way how uh, your sky uh, should look. And uh, when you're done with it, you can uh, bake your texture and use it uh, instead of a noise node. Uh, how to bake the texture, I actually have the tutorial on my channel, so you can uh, just search for it. I guess it's called Noise Baker or Texture Baker. So, well, uh, when we combine two noise uh, nodes, as you can see, we receive sorts of shape-shifting uh, clouds. Uh, yeah, so that's why the result looks uh, quite valuable. To make it look like this, you need to have the texture coordinate. Make sure that uh, your tiling is set to high values, so your clouds appear uh, more frequently. Uh, as you can see also, I don't have any uh, attributes here, just to keep it uh, clean and clear, uh, but like the color, the speed, another attribute, uh, you can go with uh, like custom attributes and adjust them through uh, the blueprints or the material instance. So, texture coordinate to panner and speed is vector 2. Due to this uh, is not uh, like the volumetric cloud, make uh, speeds on the y-axis uh, will result with something bad and it just look ugly. So go with the x-axis only. Next thing is to use to append nodes and use zero for both B uh, inputs. And as you can see, now we combine into noise nodes. So, as you can see also, this shader is quite uh, lightweight. Uh, it's additive and uh, I use apply fogging to uh, blend with the high fog I have on my scene. Additive is to uh, just make it uh, also more realistic than more stylish. So, both for noise, I have everything uh, the same uh, while I have this result and combining them together with the panel on only first one, I'll receive shape shifting. Uh, so, levels. If you go with low value here, we'll receive uh, something like goo or lava or uh, quite uh, uniform uh, shapes. They are too... Uh, they, they like detail. So, to make it look better, go with, I guess, four or six. It depends on you. Next thing is tiling. So, it's uh, the only cave out for this method. Uh, if you use a noise node, so, repeat size here and tiling should be the same as the 
you tiling on your tag check coordinate. If you don't go with the same values, you'll receive the seam on the sky sphere that you should use uh, this material on. Uh, for the outputs and inputs, uh, maximum value here is for the amount of uh, clouds that should appear on the sky. So if I go with zero, no clouds, 0 0.5, just a little, one and a half more clouds. Also gradient texture based, I found it's uh, actually uh, lowest for the shader count. You can go with another methods, but uh, like, yeah, just try everything and uh, see what goes better for you. And we should stop here. Next thing is to actually uh, clamp our opacity. So if we apply this material on the sphere, right here on the top of the sphere, uh, if we just go with like this, you can see we have sort of artifact. So to deal with it, we need to actually colorize or just make our opacity uh, scale through the linear, linear gradient. For this, I use texture coordinate, mask on the G channel, and as you can see, I have something like this. Once I subtract the value, I get more area that should be uh, withdrawn from our opacity. So this attribute has be, could also be uh, changed via the material instance or the blueprint. And we use clamp with the maximum of this logic just to make it as you can see. We don't need to clamp the low, uh, the bottom line due to that we have uh, apply fogging, so our clouds will be um, mixed with our uh, exponential high fog. Next, I use round here to make our clouds a sort of band. So we have gray and white inside. And then we should multiply everything with the color. And the color should also be uh, adjusted via blueprint or the material. The, and this color should be uh, mostly like the color of our sky atmosphere. Nearly. So if you go with high values, like this, you can see that our Clouds now look more uh, solid. When you go with low values, that's how additive works. We'll receive them more transparent and look much better. Uh, so that's actually it. Uh, next, what I need to show you is that you should have uh, directional light. You can go with uh, atmosphere sunlight here just to have the sun disk. But if you don't, that's how your actually sky will look. So you can go with this one, and if you don't want to use the disk, you can go and check source angle to be zero and instead use the through the model to place it somewhere on your scene. Uh, as for the setup, exponential high fog, uh, some fog density is, sorry guys, fog density is quite small just to make it blend with the horizon and our clouds. So as you can see, fog and scattering color is nearly the same that we have here. 
just here we have it a little bit darker. Uh, and of course, sky sphere. I use default sky sphere from engine and I use stylized sky on it. It's material instance that is uh, the child from our master material with no collision. Also, make sure that location is somewhere high. Uh, actually, the sky in engine is uh, 150,000 units away and the scale should be quite high so it will cover your scene so that's actually the basic setup so guys i hope you like this tutorial uh, everything is under the link to this video also the simple uh, sample project uh, patreon discord uh, hit subscribe uh, comment on my videos and see you soon